Hallelujah. We thank God for this wonderful day and we give God praise and we give God all the glory for this wonderful evening. This is a powerful evening the Lord has given unto us. We are moving from grace, from grass to grace, from strength to strength by His grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you all the adoration in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we have come before you, Lord, this night, my, this night, my Father, my Lord, that Lord, may you bless your people. You may touch my tongue, my Father, my Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. May I speak on your own. May I speak of your own, not my own, my Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, bless people all over the world. Bless the viewers. Bless Bless those who are watching, my Father, my God. May this word bring the change upon our life. May this word heal us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word. And Lord, we promise to give you all the glory and honor by the end of it all. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus, we pray, trusting and believe. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to thank God for the fire has brought us, and we want to thank God for all of us. I want to thank God for the viewers. I want to thank God for those who have been supporting us. I want to thank God for all, because it without you, uh, it has not been. It has not been easy. But the Lord has made us. The Lord has brought us to this far. The Lord has gathered all of us together for a purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now I want to go straight to the Word of God. This evening we are talking about. Uh, uh, following the principles of God, following the principles of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. I have learned a lot about the principle that life, life cannot work with this without the principles. Life cannot go without the principle. We cannot do anything without the principle because a principle is 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 a law. A principle is 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 a system. A principle it controls. Praise the living God. Amen. Praise the principle. As long as your principle, you cannot go this way. You know when the principle is that you must. Follow this direction for you to attain something. No, you must just go through that direction. You cannot go other way. Praise the living God. So never ignore the principle, whether you lack or whether you are in lack or not. Praise the living God. Amen. Never should you ignore the principle of God. You must pay tithe. You must give offering. You must thank God. That those are principles. It stands. There is nothing that we can do about it. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Principle help you to be accountable of your destiny. Principle help you to be accountable for your destiny. Praise the living God. Amen. When you follow principle, you'll be accountable because you'll be doing things as, as it ought to be done. Praise the living God. Amen. You must. Principle is a must. Whether you are in luck or whether you are sleeping angry, you must follow the principles of God. Praise the living God. Amen. There is no otherwise and there is no shortcut about it that will say that, you know, there are some prayers that cannot be made unless you do the principle. Because it is principle like it like a, a, a lock. It's open and it's closed. So if you don't follow it, there is no way you'll enter certain doors. Praise the living God. Amen. When I read the word of God, let's go to the book of the word of God. The Bible says, David, David was telling us here that... Uh, since I was young, till now, I have never seen a righteous forsaken or their children what? Begging for bread. Let's go to the book of Psalms 37, verse number 25, by the grace of God. King James Version. Psalms 37. 37, from verse number 25. King James Version. Mm -hmm. Psalms 37, from verse 25. Mm -hmm. Reading from King James Version. Mm -hmm. And the word of God says... Mm -hmm. I have been young. I have been young. And now I'm old. David say, I have been young and now I am old. Hallelujah. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken. Yet I have not seen the righteous what? Forsaken. Forsaken. Yes. Nor his descendants begging Nor bread. Nor his descendants begging for bread. David is trying to tell us here, since he was young, he has never seen the faithful followers of principle forsaken by the Lord. Praise the living God. Amen. But you have never seen also their children begging for, for bread. It cannot work. God cannot abandon its own. God cannot abandon his own. Amen. And he cannot even leave the children of those who faithfully followed him, his principles. He cannot abandon. He cannot abandon. The Lord cannot. 
those who are right standing with God, God cannot abandon them. Praise the living Amen. God. The Lord will never leave, forsake them or leave their children to beg for bread. Praise the living God. Amen. So that is why David said, since I was young, I have never seen. So David was also a follower of what? Principles of God. Praise the living God. Amen. He said he has never seen what? He has never seen or for, he has never seen a, 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 a righteous man forsaken. So God never forsake, forsake us. So if you see yourself suffering, if you see yourself lacking, if you see your beg self begging, so there's a problem somewhere. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Amen. David said, since I was young till now, I have never seen uncompromised people forsaken. Uncompromised people forsaken. Let's read the book of, uh, let's just go the, 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 the Amplified Version. Amplified Version. Mm. And the word of God says, mm. I have been young, mm. and now I'm old. I am old. Yet I have I have not seen the uncompromising I righteous. I have not seen the uncompromising reward. Righteous, righteous forsaken. forsaken. Their so as long as you are not compromising, Amen. you will not be forsaken. But as you, you compromise, because our God is not in between. He said, do not be cold or lukewarm. You must be somewhere. So if you want to compromise, then you will not be associated with God. And you know the principles I told you, there's a what? There's a system. You know when something is, when there's a system, system is being followed. A law cannot, you cannot do without the law, you cannot evade it unless you try to find shortcut which our God cannot do what. So principles are locks or to open or to close, praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. So if you try to compromise, the Lord will not be part of you. He will not be a part of you. Praise the living God. Amen. So you, sh you are, your children, your child will not run away from you if you instill the right discipline from that child. So principle is discipline. Praise the living God. Amen. Prince is, principle is what is discipline. If you follow principle of money, you will not pray, pray for money because money will come. Because money follow principles. Praise, hallelujah. Amen. If you find yourself lacking, begging, or uh, lacking or begging, obviously you have not followed the principle. You are not faithful in following what? The principles of God. Praise the living God. Amen. So what I have learned, that the Lord will tell you, the Lord will tell you to do something that you have not been doing. The Lord will not tell you to do something that you have not been what? You, you know when the Lord is telling you, bring money, bring money. It means you have not been bringing money. You have not been doing it. Some of us, we are built with the principle that God gave us. So we have not been following principle, so we build with it. Praise the living God. Amen. You have done some other things, the principle. So the time you come to God, that Father, now I want to walk with you or I want to serve you. He will tell you first, go and give out whatever you want. Give out this. Go and pay fast. Pay up fast. So he tells you, that is why some of us say that since I came to the kingdom of God, I see like I'm, I'm going down instead of going what up. The Lord is telling you, go and pay up what first because you use the money as you use the principle to build your own house. So go and sell that house and come. Amen. We walk. We cannot walk with you the way you are because you have not been walking with God in my principle. So he tell you, go and give up because God can never walk with somebody that is just like that. He will walk with you as because God delight in the principles. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you look at the story of the rich man, the rich man desires and he, told, he wanted to follow Jesus. But Jesus told him one thing. Jesus told him one thing. Go and sell everything that you have and give to what? To the poor so that you can come and what? And follow me. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So there is no way you are going to follow Jesus when you still carry loads. When you still hold on other things. Most of us, we are still holding on other things. He will tell you, no, go and pay up. You never paid what? Your principal since you are 10 years old. So now go and pay. Now you are almost 40 or you are 50. You want to follow me. You have been building houses. Now go and give so and so this. Go and give this house to the, the poor. Praise the living God. Amen. Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 19 verse number 21 to 23. Praise the Lord. So I am learning a lot about the, the what? 
the principles of God. That is why David said that since I was young, I have never seen the righteous or uncompromised man forsaken or begging or their children begging for bread because they have been following principles of God faithfully. So the Lord is also faithful to them. He never forsake them. The Bible said the Lord will never forsake what? Those who trust in him. Praise the living God. Amen. Matthew chapter 19 from verse 20 to 21 to 23. Amplified version. Matthew chapter chapter 19, mm. reading from Amplified Version, mm -hmm. 19 from verse 20 to 23. Mm. And the word of God says, mm -hmm. The young man said, The young man says, I have observed all of this from my youth. Mm. What still do I lack? Jesus answered him, If you will be perfect, mm. that is, have that spiritual maturity. If you will be perfect, that have spiritual maturity. So there is something that you are not perfect. You must be perfect. Amen. So, yes. That is have that spiritual maturity which accompanies self-sacrificing character. Mm -hmm. Go and sell what you have and give to the poor. So for you to be perfect, you walk with me, go and sell all this you have because, yes, and give to the poor. Give to the poor. And you will have riches in heaven. And you will have riches and in heaven. And come be my disciple. And come be my disciple. Side with my party and follow me. So you cannot walk with me if, unless you become perfect. So what you own belong. What you own is what you have been building them with. What with my principle I gave you, and you I gave you, and you didn't do what you did not give the principle. You not follow the principle. So this house you have been doing it since some of us since ten years. You have not been following principles. So you have started coming as you're old now. Principle open holes in your life. That is why God is saying for you to be what? Perfect. You must be perfect. So do what? Go and sell all and come back. Because this is what you are carrying. Is, 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 I don't need it. New Living Translation. New Living Translation mm -hmm. from verse 20. Yes. And the word of God says, mm. I have obeyed all these commandments. Mm. The young man replied, mm. What else must I do? Mm. Jesus told him, mm. If you want to be I have perfect, obeyed other, I have obeyed what? All these commandments. No matter how much you obey all these commandments, if you do not follow the principle, forget about other gates. Yes. Jesus told him. Jesus told him. If you want to be perfect. If you want to be perfect. Go and sell all you have and give the money to the poor. Go and sell what you have and give the money to the poor because you have been stealing. You have been robbing me. Uh -huh. And you will have treasures in heaven. And you will have treasures in heaven. Then come follow me. And come follow me. So you come when you are empty. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Message Bible. Mm -hmm. Message Bible. Mm -hmm. Reading from verse, verse 20. Mm -hmm. And the word of God says, mm. if you want to give it all, mm. if you want to give it all you have got, mm. Jesus replied, yes. go sell your possession. Go sell your possession. Give everything to the poor. It is everything you give because you never follow principle. That is why I want to tell you, today start teaching your children how to follow principle as young as they are. Some of us, we have not been following principle since our young. Childhood. That is why you give, when you come to the kingdom of God, you give, you give, you give, you give before you start receiving. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. Because you never follow, you have been robbing God. The Bible says, can a man rob God? Can a mere man rob God? And you say, well, how can I rob you? I rob you through what? Tithing and offering. Praise the living God. Amen. You have not been doing this. You have not been practicing. You have not been faithful to it. Praise the living God. Yes. Amen. Yeah, continue. Go sell your possessions. Go sell your possessions. Give everything to the poor. Give everything to the poor. All your wealth will then be in heaven. All, all your wealth then will be what? In, in heaven. heaven. Yes. Then come follow me. Then come follow me. Yes. Because after you have done that, there is something that will come from heaven then follow. Yes, continue. That was the last thing the young man expected that to hear. That is the last thing some of us are expecting to hear. Some of us, if you tell them, go and sell that and do that, they say, oh, no, 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 this is not God. This is not God. How can the God that give also take? Because you didn't follow the principle, so he's telling you, no, I cannot associate yourself with you because you I delight in, in following what? Principle and you have not followed it. Now, go and give it out and then come and follow me. Yes? He said what? That is what the last the what? The that was the last thing that was the, the young last man thing expected the young man to hear. Expected to hear. And I know that is the last thing most of us are expecting to hear. They are holding on much. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, and so, and so, crestfallen, yes. he walked away. He walked away. He was holding on. Some time. of us are walking away just because they have been told about principle. There is no shortcut about this. You must follow the principle of God for the blessing of God to follow you because principle attracts. Principle follow those who follow principles. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Amen. That is the last thing what? The man expected to hear. The man expected to hear. Some of us, that is the last thing you expected to hear. We want, we do not, we want gospel that is what? That is being played around with. This is what the Bible says. That is what the last thing the man expected to hear. And the man walked away. And the Bible said that that is how, why it is too hard for rich men to serve God. Hallelujah. Amen. It is too hard for rich men to serve God. Amen. Uh -huh. Christ fallen, he walked away. He walked away. He was holding on tight mm. to a lot of things. So when you walk away, some of us, we hold on poverty. You hold on things that you do not want to release. You, hold, you walk away with to, 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 to so many things. Praise the Lord. Amen. So when you give them out for God to rebuild you again. Hallelujah. Amen. Please be giving you. If not, please, you must give your you must follow the principle of God. Amen. When you follow the principle, the principle follows you. Yes? He walks away. That was the last thing he wanted to, to hear. That is the last thing when you tell people about the principle of God. That is the last thing people want to hear. If you start telling us about the, the, the principle of God, we look at if there is something you are after. The principle you must follow. It is a system. It is a law. Praise the living God. Amen. You must follow. It's a discipline. It's a spiritual discipline. It entered your heart. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. And he couldn't bear to let go. He couldn't bear to let go. What is it that you're holding so tight that you could not bear to let go? When the Lord has said it, that release this, leave all this, then you follow me. Because what you are carrying, you can, I cannot associate myself with you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. As he watched him go, yes. Jesus told his disciples, mm -hmm. Do you have any idea how difficult it is for the rich to enter God's kingdom? Go back to King James. King James Version mm -hmm. from verse 22. And the, and the word of God. And the word of God, God, yes. the word of God said. Uh -huh. But when the young man but had when the young man had that saying, that saying, he went away sorrowful. He went away sorrowful. Because people want to want to receive and they do not want to give. We want to enter through the back door or through the wall and we expect the blessing of God. It cannot work like that. Because there's a, a gatekeeper that is watching, looking and looking at your record. Have you been paying the, 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 the what? Have you been, have been following the principle? Praise the living God. Amen. You cannot go through the back door. You cannot go through the wall. You cannot enter through the window. You must follow the principle. I am the kingdom of God. You must follow the principle. It is a must. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh -huh. He went away sorrowful. He went away sorrowful. For he had great possessions. Ba -da -da -da. He went away because he had what? Great he possession. thought he had great possession. Uh -huh. Then said Jesus and then his said disciples, Jesus and disciples Verily I say unto you Verily I say unto you that a rich man shall hardly that enter a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom into of heaven into the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. I say it again mm. it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle praise the lord than for a rich person to mm. enter the kingdom of god please let you not be hindered with money what you are holding is too small. Amen. Release it. Follow the principle of God and you see the blessings of the Lord. Amen. Because David said, I see if David has experienced it. He was close to God. He was a man close to God's heart. So he was he knows how this, this one is done. The Bible says what? He said, David said what? Since I was young, I have never seen the righteous and compromised man forsaken or their children begging. So as long as I follow the principle, so my children will also be beneficiaries. Amen. Some of us, our parents never follow the principle because we are we are a nation. Some of us, the Bible says that, and the whole nation is what is cursed. So your grandfather never followed the principle. Your father never they follow the principle. So the curse has narrowed down to you. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you are carrying all this unto you. So right now you want to start. It is not easy. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Principle follow where it is being followed. 
principle is a magnet. It follows where what? It is being followed. When you look at the story of the ark of, of the covenant of God, the ark of the covenant of God, the ark of the covenant of God, David was afraid. He saw the ark of the covenant of God. What did he do? Wanted to harm him. David said, No, 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 no. I cannot take this camp. I cannot take this, 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 this covenant again. I can't walk it. Let me take it what? And branch it, take it what? A certain home. Covenant follow. Covenant will use any other thing to follow. Let me tell you, there are situations in your life that you see killing others and becoming a blessing to others. Praise the living God. Amen. The covenant ark of God, David took it to the house of Obedidon for only three months and it became a blessing. Praise the Lord. Amen. What was killing others became a blessing. Obedidon that followed the word, the principle of God without even knowing, without having understanding. So begin to follow these things and I'm telling you something is going to happen. Samuel chapter 6, yes. from verse 6 to 12. Mm. Reading from King James Verse. And the word of God says, the word of God says, but then and when they came to Nacon's threshold floor, mm -hmm. Uza put forth his hand to the ark of God mm -hmm. and took hold of it, mm -hmm. for the oxen shook it. Mm -hmm. And the angel of the Lord was kindled against Uza, mm -hmm. and God smote him there for his error. Mm -hmm. And there he died by the ark of God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And David was displeased mm -hmm. because the Lord had made a bridge upon Uza. Mm -hmm. And he called the name of that place Perezu, Perezuza to this day. Mm -hmm. And David was afraid of the Lord that day and said, mm -hmm. How shall the ark of the Lord come to me? Mm -hmm. So David would not remove the ark of the Lord unto him into the city of David. Mm -hmm. But David carried it aside into the house of Obedidom, mm -hmm. the Gagai, the mm -hmm. Jigai, Jeditite. Mm -hmm. And the ark of the Lord continued in the house of Obedidom, the Jedite, three, three months. months. Uh -huh. And the Lord blessed and Obedidom the Lord blessed and all his household. And all his household. So this covenant ark was a principle. Following those who follow the principle. Amen. So the ones that were carrying it, he said, no, you, I do not know you. I want to go where I am being followed. Amen. He's being attracted. So, the, 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 something had to happen for Obedidom who followed what? The principle of God without understanding to be blessed. Amen. Go to the New Living Church. Good News Version. Mm -hmm. Good News Version. Mm -hmm. And the Word of God says, mm -hmm. As they came to the threshing place verse of Nagon, seven, seven, verse number seven, from verse, verse seven, seven, yes, and the Word of God says, mm -hmm. At once, at once, the Lord God became angry with Uza. The and Lord him. God became angry and killed him. The way he was handling the ark, the ark was supposed to be handled away by what? By the Levites. Mm -hmm. At once, the Lord God became angry with Uza and killed him. Yes, because of the in irre irreverence, irreverence of Uza of Uza. Of Uza died there because the covenant of the covenant box. Yes. And so that place has been called Perez Uza ever since. Mm -hmm. David was furious because the Lord had punished Uza in anger. Mm -hmm. Then David was afraid of the Lord and David said, David became afraid. I said, no, 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 no. I cannot carry this thing, yes? How can I take the covenant How box with me now? How can I take the covenant box with I'm, I'm the next in, in line to die. This thing is killing. You know, the blessing can kill and bless others. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh -huh. So he decided not to take so it with he him. So he decided, no, 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 no. This thing, I'm leaving here. Somebody can, hey, something can happen next to your gate. Where people are dead, and it become blessing to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Instead, Instead, turned off the road and took it to the house of Obedidom. Take it to this young man here. Let this still kill this young man. Take it to the house of who? Obedidom. Obedidom. Mm -hmm. A native of the city of Gaza. A native of the, the, the Gaga guys, yes. And the, the ark of the Lord rested there for only how many months? Three months. Three months. And God did what? Shalagam. It stayed there three it months. Stay, it stayed there three months. And the Lord blessed the Obedidom Lord blessed and his family. And his family. I pray today, as you have been following principle of God 
faithfully. May the blessing of God locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May the ark of God, yes. may the principle of God locate you. Amen. Wherever it was almost passing you, yes. it shall locate you. Amen. It shall only rest there for three months. Yes. And the Lord shall will bless you. Amen. Shall bless you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The blessing of the Lord yes. shall come upon you. Amen. As the ark of God rested upon the Obedidom's house, yes. the blessing of God will the ark will only rest Amen. for three months Amen. and the Lord will bless you. Amen. The blessing of the Lord yes. that make it rich and added no sorrow. Yes. This month of February, mm. you shall be blessed. Amen. You shall be blessed. Amen. Your children shall be blessed Amen. because you follow the principle of God. Yes. Whether the principle never worked, mm. but I come to speak today, may they begin to work for Amen. you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The principle are what? It is a, a, a magnet. It follows where it's being followed. So when you follow the principle, it will come. Amen. The principle of eyes, it is a spirit, it follows. Principle is a magnet. Only three months in Obedium's house, their life turned around. What was killing people on the road? They said, no, let me branch. Where they were almost passing Obedium with his blessing. And if you keep and you follow what? Principle. Keep on following principle. It will not pass you this year. Amen. It will not pass you this month. Amen. It will not pass you this week. This week. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The, they were almost passing Obedidom. But the, the principle said, no, I cannot pass here. This, 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 there is someone here that follows me. This man did not even know, did not even have, have understanding, but he was following. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. It does not matter. It doesn't matter. Now my big question is, what is, your, what is magnet in your life? What is a magnet? What will, what will attract the principle or the ark of God to come to your life? What will attract the principle? What are you doing? The enemy will go and find out that at the gate, this man never followed the principle. And he will hold you. He said, no, you don't pass here. That man, don't. he will accuse you because he knows God delight in principle. He will go and tell God that you, this is, you say you delight in principle. You say you walk by the principle. You follow your principle. But this man never follow principle. Do not allow this man to go beyond this level. So some of us, if the enemy has been accusing you, some of us, is the principle that has been stopping you, has been accusing you. Some of us, it is it, the principle lock or and Lord, praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The enemy will hold you with anything you are doing or anything that you are not doing. The enemy will hold you. He will follow. He is a master of patterns. He will follow. What is it that he's not doing? The enemy is now following you now. What is it that he's not doing? Because the Bible says what? And they followed all what? The man, the, when, when you go back to the book of, uh, when you go back to the book of Luke, Chapter 19. He said that he followed other words, other commandments, but in here, in principle, there was a problem. So Jesus told him that you have followed others, yes, but now you have a problem, you what? Following the principle. But the man, he said that was the last thing the man expected Jesus to say. You tell people everything they will follow, but you tell them about principle or tell them to this. The Bible says, give and it shall be given to you. It will never change. That is a principle. Those who give sparingly shall receive sparingly. Those who give bountifully shall receive bountifully. It is a principle. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the man look at that and say, no, 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 I cannot. The enemy will hold you with what you're not doing. What is it that you're not doing? When you look at the story of Samson, when you look at the story of Samson, the enemy looked at Samson and they knew that they, they, they knew that they, they knew that they, they, they wanted to hold Samson with something. They check all around and they say, Oh, this man, this man, this man, his weak point. Where's the weak point of Samson? They came to realize that Samson did not love women from his community. Say okay, they don't. Samuel do not love people from his community. Let us find out what to do. Let us bring Samuel. Who was who was Samson? Samson was an Israelite. He was a God chosen man. 
during the time when judges were were, rule, were ruling what Israel Israel praise the living God Amen. then they they realized what do we do about this Samson he was a God's chosen man there are most of us that God has chosen but the enemy is looking at a very small thing what you are not doing that thing that you are omitting the principle you have followed other things you have done well you are praying you have done all but he is waiting to hold you with a small thing they say okay the weakness of this samson here he does not love women from his what community so let us bring uh, our own from a philistine woman and when the lady came samson was happy and became in love with the person he didn't know this was the trap of the enemy praise the lord Amen. The enemy is bringing a trap for you. Is following you. Is a is 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 a master of patterns. He's just looking at patterns. What is it that you're not doing? What is it that you're not doing? Or oh, this one? This the mistake he has been doing repeatedly. Let us enter through that door. That is the door they are going to use. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. Judges chapter sixteen, from verse number four to six. Judges chapter sixteen, from verse four to six. Reading from King James Version. Yes. And the word of God says, the word of God says Later, Samson fell in love with a woman named Delilah, mm -hmm. who lived in the valley of Sorek. Who lived in the valley of Sorek, yeah. And the lords of the Philistines came up upon him unto her mm -hmm. and said unto her, mm -hmm. Entice him and see. Entice him and see. Wherein his great strength lies. Where is his great strength? They, they must know where is your great strength. Uh -huh. And by what means we may prevail against him? Listen, by what means we may what? Prevail, prevail. against him. Go, go to, is it good news? That talk by we, what, what means we tie him? Mm. Mm. Good news version. Mm. And the word of God says, Yes. From verse 5. Mm. The five Philistines king went to her and said, Yes. Trick Samson into telling you why he is so strong. <laughs> the enemy will follow you and say, Trick him. And see how we quote how and te, and trick Samson trick to telling Samson you and to tell you why he is so strong why he's so strong and how we can overpower no, he's him. looking for your strength first okay this man followed other laws he followed other commandments he's doing one two three four but the problem is here uh -huh. and how we can overpower him trick him and how we do what we can overpower we him. can overpower him tie him up Tie him and up. make him helpless. So he's looking for where to tie you and make you helpless. Principle. He said, okay, he's doing all this. So he wants another level. He wants another financial level. He wants to enter another level spiritually, financially. Okay, this man has never been paying this tithe since childhood. This man has never been paying or giving offering since childhood. This man has never been giving God thanks since old. Dude. He has never been doing sacrificial giving in the, in, the, in the church. Now, finance, no. You can be a very powerful servant, but empty. Because you are being tied. They have followed you. And they are saying, okay, now let us do what? He said that, let us do? Tie him. And so that you become what? You are helpless. You are helpless. They brought a Delilah. Eh? Continue. Eat each one of us will give you 1100 pieces of silver. You see, they are following you. New Living Translation. New Living Translation. Yes. Beginning verse 5. Mm. The leaders of the Philistines mm. went to her and said, Gee. Find out from Samson what makes him so the strong. The enemy is finding out what making you strong, what making you prosper. They have seen you doing well in the ministry. They have seen you doing well in the business. They have seen you doing well in whatever the sector you're doing. Now they are following what is make number one, they are looking for your strength. Number two, they are going to your weakness. Now, what are you not doing? That making you do what? Not to prosper. What are you doing that making you to prosper? Now they are going to your weak point and tying you there so that you become what? You can become helpless. Most of us, we are helpless because we have been tied. You have been followed since 10 years. You have not been paying tithing. You have only been paying offering. Most of us, that is where we are. And even offering, how much were you paying? Now, you started paying tithing. You have not been giving thanks to God since your childhood. 
You have not been doing this sacrifice. All these church things, pastor, pastor, it is principle. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. Oh, where you have married Delilah? May the Lord help you. Because they brought Delilah. The enemy, so no, not paying, not what following principle is marrying Delilah. Now Delilah is going to find out your strength and your weakness. And now he tell them, I know. And I know any with them. But first he lied. Delilah tried. He, she tried. There's a Delilah in your life that keep on telling you, I don't hey, who is this Delilah? Hallelujah. Amen. Delilah is telling you, don't do it. Don't do it. You're married what? Married Delilah. Oh Lord, teach me how to follow your principles. Amen. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, teach me how to follow your principles. Where I have intermarried with Delilah, that is making me, Lord, not to follow your principle. Lord, help me, Lord. Father, help me, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, principle make you say thank you. When you follow principle, it enters you, make you, when somebody has blessed you, you say thank you. You thank the person. Lord, I thank this. I thank you for using this man upon my life because it's a discipline. Praise the living God. Amen. Principle is a, a discipline. If you manage to discipline yourself, it is it is easy. Principle will make you know that an old man is standing and I'm sitting. Principle will make you know that I have not done this. And I'm supposed to do this. But nowadays, because we do not follow principle, we say that a, a, a system, which system has changed? Principle will make you know how the old man is standing and I'm sitting. I'm seated. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, principle are very important. David says, since, that is why David is telling us, reminding us, since I was what? Young. I have never seen. The person, so it means his, his childhood, there was how he followed what? The principle. So us, me and you, that is here, have you been following this principle? Have you been faithful? Now, what I'm also learning here, principle is very important. When you do not follow principle, and even those who are around you, it's very important. They should also do it. Because when you don't follow a principle, there is holes in your life. There are doors that the enemy will use to enter your life. So if you're working with the people, make sure even then they follow. No wonder some people say that, uh, indicate tithe, your name, so that I know who is not doing it. Because if those who are around you are not doing following the principle, they are holes. For example, if my children are not following the principle and the, the devourer will do what? Will devour them. Will I not be affected? I will be affected automatically because when the devourer divorce them, something is told from them, even from my wife. Will I not be affected? I will have to go there and I will have to cheap money there. If the devourers come to devour their finances, I'm automatically what? Affected. So your wife should what? Should follow principle. Your children should follow principle because those who are around you, that is why David said, even his soldiers, he forced them. He said, now, now you must follow principle because if those who are around you does not follow principle, even you, you are affected. When the devourer comes, make sure, teach them. The problem we do not want to teach. Now people are going to ask, Pastor, what am I going to do? Teach them. This is the third time I'm teaching about the principle. Teach them. Follow principles. What is the principle? Why should we follow? What should we pay principle? Praise the living God. Amen. The Bible says, Can a man rob God? Yes. How do we rob God? We rob him through what? Not paying tithe. Not giving offering. Offering and tithe are just together. You cannot come to church without offering and you're paying tithe. You cannot give tithe and you're not giving thanksgiving. They are working together. They are all working. The Bible says, test me and see if I'll not open what? Windows of heaven or the floodgates of heaven. 
He said that give thanks. Thanksgiving is what? Is the password that opened the what? The heavenly gate. So there are levels you never enter unless the oh Lord teach you how to follow your prayers. Amen. What is this that is holding you? Who is this Delilah that the enemy has used to follow your life? Praise the living God. Amen. If the Lord has blessed you, fulfill a certain obligation with it. Some of us, the Lord has blessed us and told you, go and do that such a thing. Say, no, I'm not going to do it. Please, do you pray? Number one, he identify your strength. Why are you prospering? They say, okay, now you prosper. Now let me close this one, this tab. Because all of them are walking what? Conquering me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want us to pray to pray.
your holds my father lord help me my father where i am that winter marin the line my father my god the line came my father my god and find out where is my strength and my weakness and you see my weakness my father my god to bring me down my god lord the enemy want to bring me down my father my god with what i am not doing lord help me lord help me lord to be faithful oh god faithful in following your principles my father my god lord deliver me to be in the mighty name of jesus lord help me my father my god in the mighty name of jesus i pray my father my god teach me lord how to follow your principles my god teach me my father and my god in the mighty name of jesus teach me how to follow your principles my god teach me my father my god teach my heart my god where i've been begging my father my god i have been struggling my father my god i have been in lack my father my god because of not following your principles my father have mercy upon me lord teach this my heart my god teach this my heart to follow your principles my father my god in the mighty name of jesus oh god lord have mercy lord we have not been following the, your principles since my childhood my father my god and right now my father my god the principle has caught up with me at the gate my father that i cannot pass my father my god lord have mercy upon me my god in the mighty name of jesus your word say that lord my people perish because of lack of knowledge i have been lacking knowledge of this my father that is why my father my god it is true i have not been faithful my god i do it when i want or how i want it to be done and your word say that bring all type into my storehouse you need no you need say few but you say all my father but lord it is true i will still from you it is true i've been robbing from you it is true my children have been robbing from you it is true my spouse has been robbing from you lord have mercy upon me lord have mercy my god teach me my father my god lord do not take uh, do not count it against me my father my god do not count it against me lord this night oh god i have come to repent may i start on a new a new page my god from today my father may i start on a new page father i want to say thank you thank you my father my god for your word thank you lord in the mighty name of jesus may this word bring healing to this land financial my father my god where the enemy has conned us my god has followed our patterns my father my god and lord is using our weakness my father my god to make us to make us fall my father my god to bring us down financially lord we pray that every door that he has closed my father my god have mercy lord lord open them by your mercy by your mercy open them my god in the mighty name of jesus and my father my god the bible says that and the ark of god rested in the house of obededom for only three months my god lord i speak upon your children now that those my father my god as they are being in this service my god in the next three months my god as the ark is resting from today beginning now this is the first day my father my god may your blessing oh god the blessing my father my god that was upon the obededom's house my god for three months my god in the next three months my god may there be evidence may there be fulfillment may there be manifestation of the blessings of god promises of god upon your life you will not miss it 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 in the mighty name of jesus as you are here as you have repented faithfully may the lord visit you in the next three months the ark of god shall visit you will not bypass you in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen father we thank you Thank you Lord. Father have mercy upon us. We have not been faithful tithe, thanksgiving offering and sacrifice to you. That Lord has opened hold my Lord. Lord we thank you and I worship you in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Child of God. Let for the principle. And the principle of following you. What is attracting God the principle?
and I pray that every pain, every every pain, anger, bitterness that I've been living, oh God, Lord Jesus, today, my Father, my God, who oh, strip them off me now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, and wash me the precious blood of Jesus from the inside to outside, my God, when I will try to be before you, Lord, Lord, make me whole before you today in the mighty name of Jesus, delete my name in the book of life, and write my name in the book of light in the mighty name of Jesus, delete my name in the book of death, and write my name in the book of life in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I want to thank you, and I want to worship you, from today I am born again, Father, I thank you, my Father, walk with me, teach me your words, teach me your ways, my Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, trust in your name, amen, child of God, for the follow up, please, call us, our numbers here on the screen, for prayers and counseling, call us, our numbers on the screen, and those of us who want to support this ministry, please, I, I cannot appreciate you enough, for those who have been supporting, we thank God for you, and in the next three months, as you have been supporting this ministry, may the ark of God, the covenant ark of God rest upon your house, Amen. and may you see the blessing of the Lord, it will not only rest upon you, you and your family, in the mighty name of Jesus, continue supporting this ministry, continue support, as you keep on supporting it, God is reaching many people through this word, in the mighty name of Jesus, may they have a little you have.